services in AngularJS are singleton objects that do some kind of work for us in our application. In addition to Angular's built-in services, we can also create and use our own custom services when creating our apps. In this video, you'll see how to create a simple custom service in AngularJS. All right, guys, so we're set up here taking a look at index.html, and we are going to create a service that's going to be a calculator service for us. So we're going to perform a addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division in our calculator, a simple calculator. And all I've done so far is I've created a div here that I've attached to the controller, my control. And in the div, I just have two input fields that are bound to value one and value two on the scope of this controller. I'm going to hop over into app.js here and here you can see my control and also we have scope the value one and value two and we're starting those off at zero. Before we get into it, let's just look at what we have in uh, the browser here. And there you can see we have our calculated service header value one and value two. Right now we're not calculating much so let's uh, get to it. I'll go back to uh, app.js and the first thing I'll do is create the actual service and uh, this isn't very hard to do I'm gonna come right below my app definition I'm gonna say my app and I'm going to say dot factory and now I'm going to give my service a name I'm gonna call it the calculator service and next I'm gonna pass in a function that's going to perform the function of my service so within there, I'm going to return an object that's going to offer up my service. And I'm going to then add uh, some properties to the object. So I'm going to say add, which is going to be the addition of the service bit. And I'm going to here define a function that takes uh, two values. So value one, value two. And it's just going to basically, you guessed it, return uh those two numbers added to one another. So I'm going to parse it first, value one. And this is necessary with strings because uh, Angular may try to concatenate the strings if I don't make sure and uh, define those as numbers. So I'm going to parse int value one, value two, add them and return that. And so that's my addition function. And I'm just going to paste in a similar thing that we're going to do for all of our other functions here. So, there we can see subtract, divide, multiply, and we're all just taking two values.